All right, let's talk emails. I'm ready! Now that you have your send grid set up, that's in settings, email services, right? This could also be Mailgun is another one. Um, there's various services that can do this, but once you have that set up, then we will come over to marketing, emails. I've created some of my own templates to use. Campaigns. Um, these are the previous newsletters. If you're doing automations, that's going to be in a different place. That's going to be an automation, but this is for your newsletters. So create campaign, choose a template. And if you got the click slow deal, then you probably have a bunch of email templates already in there. And I have just created my own. So that's creating a new one based on this other one. And now I can change it around. Now here's something funny that I have found. I don't know why it's might just be my account, but this is a drag and drop email builder. So I should be able to drag text in there and you know what? It won't do it, uh, but it will if I do this in an incognito window. So if I need to adjust what types of things are in here or how many, then I, I open it in an incognito window, save it as a draft, and then go back to the regular window to send it. Because the incognito window sending, I feel like it's weird. I don't have any actual proof of that, but I feel like it's weird. Uh, so anyway, a little quirk, but some people tell me they're not having that problem. Uh, support told me it was an issue of cash, but even clearing my cash didn't seem to help. But luckily, opening incognito window works fine. So you can do things like if you want to have a background image on your email or a uh, color behind it, a background color, a body color. You can do A-B testing. And that's really if you have a pretty big list usually. So you can go in here, you can change images, you can make a URL for the image, you can change the width. You can come in here and do typing, change the heading, etc. You can put buttons, you can do my little email signature here. This stuff should automatically populate. And once it's ready, you can save as you go. You can send a test to yourself. No. Hey. I don't hear you. Yes, but I'll be done very shortly. So long. Give me like two minutes. Okay, okay so under yeah, send and schedule, and um, so then you can send now or schedule your time. And I have not played around at all with these things, but you know, if you have a blog post coming out regularly, there's ways that you can like, every time you have a blog post, it automatically sends to your list. So that's what that's for. Batch schedule, large group of contacts in drip mode. I don't even know. I've just, I just schedule. And then you can put in your from, your email, your name. Um, you can do something to make this automatically fill in, but then it was telling me that it was gonna mess with something else. So I just manually put my name and email address in, subject line, preview text, recipients. So this is where I have people on my newsletter list. So that's the list that these things send to. And here you can decide if somebody comes into your welcome sequence between now and when it's scheduled, maybe you don't want them to get this email yet because they just came onto your list, or maybe you do. So you can make that decision there. Then you can save it, saves it as a draft. Again, if I'm in an incognito window, I usually save here, then go back to the regular window to do the actual scheduling. And of course I haven't filled in the details, so I can't hit schedule, but it's going to then show up on this list. And again, if you want to do automated email sequences, you can do that over here under automations. You're creating a workflow. For example, I have this workflow that is delivering something. And then a day later, you get another thing. A day later, you get another thing. This one should be like that too. Form submitted. You get an email to download. It waits a day. You get another email, blah, blah, blah. You're hopefully familiar with these. So that is where you do that. And when you send an email, then you create it in here. This does not have that, 
that pretty drag and drop thing. Um, but there's still a lot you can do in here. You can put in the username. Um, you can create what these trigger links are and what they do. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do to, with these automations to get quite advanced. But I will leave it there for now.